the KF-21 Boromae is one of South Korea's most ambitious and highly anticipated defense projects. Developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, or KAI, under the KF-X program, launched back in 2015. Initially envisioned as a fifth-generation stealth aircraft, the KF-21 was designed to incorporate low observable features and stealth-oriented design. However, due to developmental constraints and cost considerations, it currently lacks full stealth capabilities. As a result, the jet is classified as a 4.5 generation fighter, but still features advanced technologies that place it on par with many of today's leading multi-role combat aircraft. Development and Production This program is a joint effort with South Korea holding a 60% stake and Indonesia originally contributing 20%. In 2024, Indonesia's share was reduced to 7.5% after financial adjustments, but it still retains access to the program and plans to acquire the aircraft in the future. The prototype was unveiled in April 2021, followed by its maiden flight in 2022. Mass production began in 2024. As of mid-2025, the Korean government signed a new contract with KI to produce 20 additional KF-21 units in a deal worth 2.39 trillion won, approximately 1.75 billion. This follows an earlier order of 20 aircraft in 2024. Rising production costs have driven up the per unit price, now estimated between 70.4 millions for the airframe and up to 110 million dollars when fully equipped with engines, weapons, and support systems. Technical Capabilities The KF-21 is powered by two General Electric F-414 engines, producing a combined thrust of around 44,000 pounds. There are also plans for future variants to use locally developed engines by Hanwha Aerospace, a move that aims to enhance South Korea's defense independence. The jet has a top speed of Mach 1.8, a combat range of about 2,900 kilometers, and a maximum payload capacity of 7,700 kilograms. This allows it to carry both fuel and a wide variety of weapons. It features advanced avionics, including an indigenous AESA radar, an infrared search and track system, IRST, and modern mission computers. The aircraft includes nine to 10 external hardpoints, supporting weapons such as the Meteor and IRST air-to-air -air missiles, Taurus KEP-350 air-to-ground missiles, and a 20 millimeter M61 Vulcan Gatling gun. Localization and industry growth. Roughly 65% of the KF-21's components are locally produced, including the radar and avionics. This aligns with South Korea's broader vision to build a self-reliant defense and aerospace industry, cutting reliance on foreign suppliers and fostering homegrown innovation. Global export potential. South Korea is actively targeting defense markets in Asia and the Middle East for KF-21 exports. Countries that have shown strong interest include the Philippines, reportedly planning to acquire up to 40 jets, Peru, showing early interest, Poland, closely monitoring development, especially the upcoming Block 2 variant, UAE, Thailand, Malaysia, and Iraq, identified as future potential buyers. Despite facing tough competition from established platforms like the Dassault Rafale, Saab Gripen, and Lockheed Martin F-35, the KF-21 is positioning itself as a cost-effective alternative, especially appealing to nations seeking modern capability at lower procurement and life cycle costs. Future Variants and Market Outlook the current Block 1 version is primarily focused on air-to-air -air missions and doesn't yet offer full multi-role capabilities. 
but this will change with the upcoming Block 2 variant, which is under development, and will expand the jet's strike and ground attack roles. As international interest grows, the price may continue to rise, depending on configurations, weapons packages, pilot training, and maintenance needs. With its blend of affordability, cutting-edge tech, and export appeal, the KF-21 Barame represents a bold leap forward, not just for South Korea's aerospace industry, but for its status as a global defense exporter. Projected unit cost of around $110 million, the KF-21 Borame offers a compelling alternative in a market largely dominated by significantly more expensive platforms. For comparison, France's Dassault Rafale, recently procured by Serbia, is priced at approximately $250 million per unit due to its advanced avionics and multi-role capabilities. The Saab Gripen, currently under consideration by the Colombian Air Force, is estimated to cost between $162 million and $243 million per unit. Meanwhile, the Lockheed Martin F-35, already in service with South Korea, was priced at $202.4 million per unit under the recent E-25 aircraft acquisition. Though older platforms like the F-16 and F-18 team remain in production, their upgraded variants come with high costs and have not secured any major export contracts. What do you think about the KF-21 Borame fighter jet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Jetline Marvel brings you the finest aviation t-shirts at unbeatable prices, crafted from 100% premium cotton. Elevate your passion for aviation with our exclusive collection, perfect for pilots, aviation enthusiasts, and frequent flyers who dream of the skies. Features, premium comfort, made from soft, breathable cotton for all-day wear. Aviation-inspired design, bold graphics featuring aircraft, cockpit elements, or aviation quotes. Perfect fit. Available in multiple sizes with a relaxed yet stylish fit. Durable and fade-resistant. High-quality print that lasts wash after wash. What are you waiting for? Visit JetShop.in now and grab your aviation t-shirt today. If you're an aircraft engine enthusiast or hobbyist, now you can own one yourself. We offer scale models of realistic aircraft and helicopter engines, some of which are fully functional display models, perfect for educational demonstrations and presentations. For more details and to explore our collection, visit the link below. Don't forget to use our discount code at checkout to get a flat 10% off on all product.